Welcome to second semester and a happy first Monday of the second semester at Sycamore Junior High. Today is Monday, January 24th, 2022, and welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Hadley. And I'm Khadija. And we're so excited to join you as new news crews pass for the new semester. Thanks everyone. Now it is time to unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge my allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. We hope that you all had a wonderful break last week with a little testing in between and want to take a moment to recognize our wonder the wonderful man that was responsible for part of our recess last week. Last Monday, January 17th, was Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which honors the birthday as well as life and legacy of the American civil rights leader born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. The Nobel Peace Prize winner was an emerging leader of the civil rights movement the eight years leading up to August 1963. He delivered his famed I Have a Dream speech, which from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. Newsweek adds that addressing a crowd of 250,000, Martin Luther King Jr. spoke of his dream. The country would one day live up to his belief that all men are created equal. While he was in Memphis, Tennessee to support striking workers, the civil rights activist was assassinated April 4, 1968. In 1984, on August 27th, Former President Ronald Reagan signed legislation that established a commission to assist in the first observance in the federal legacy holiday honoring Martin Luther King Jr., where in 1986, on January 18th, a presidential proclamation marked the first observance of King's birthday as a national holiday. King's late wife, Coretta Scott King, says that Martin Luther King Jr. Day commemorates the values of courage, truth, justice, compassion, dignity, humility, and service that are so radiantly defined. Dr. King's character and empowered his leadership, as well as the universal, unconditional love, forgiveness, and nonviolence that empowered his revolutionary spirit. Dr. King once said that we all have to decide whether we will walk in the light of creative, freed of altruism or in the darkness of destructive, destructive selfishness. Life's most important persistence and nagging question, he said, is what you are doing for others. He was also posthumously awarded the U.S. Congressional Gold Medal and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Thank you, Martin Luther King Jr., for your contributions to make this nation a better place to live. Our fact of the day. Today is National Peanut Butter Day. Today, we as a nation sought to appreciate the staple everyday food. I love peanut butter. Next yes. up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Grace D, Katrina H, Sam S. We wish you a great day and even better year. Now mm -hmm. on to our loyal and amazing Mr. Harris with our important activity information. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, first, I'd like to give a big shout out to my new news crew people. These guys are going to be working hard and bringing the news to you this semester, so good luck, guys. It'll be a lot of fun this semester. All right, a couple of announcements. Final call for any boy interested in playing soccer at the high school next year. You need to email Mr. Tanaka as soon as possible. He will send you a Google form to fill out, and as, a receipt, as soon as he receives the email with the Google Meet information, he will pass that along to you. All right, so get that done. Eighth grade orientation day at the high school will be on Thursday, February 3rd, all right? The eighth grade transition day will take place during the day, and the academic fair will be held from 5.30 to 7 at night, all right? We'll let you know information about this as, as, as it changes or details and all that other stuff, all right? And it may go virtual, so we'll let you know about that in plenty of time. So February 3rd, eighth graders are going up to the high school. All right, if you want to know more about Sycamore High School, then who better to give you information than current seniors and a few junior aviators? The 18th Annual Student to Student Forum is geared to do just that. This will be on February 1st, February 1st, all right? This will tell you about all the activities going on at the high school's innovation lab, 
athletics, extracurricular activities, and all that other stuff, all right? Check your email for more information or go to sycamoregear.org to register for the virtual event. Congratulations to the following 8th grade students for, for performing in the District 14 Junior High Honors Orchestra. They represented Sycamore with excellence. So, these students, Anna Christos, Paul Ku, Kevin Nguyen, Akshita Sharma, Julia Lee, Sana Shyam, AJ Narayana, Vivian New, Monica Simon Thomas, and Ryan Kim. Great job, guys. This Friday, January 28th, Candy Grams will be sold in the First Class Ticket Store and then on February 4th in the Wrestling Room. <coughs> what is a Candy Gram, you ask? It's a fun way to send your friend or teacher an unexpected card that will have candy attached to it on Valentine's Day. You can purchase as many candy grams as your first, ta first class ticket supply will allow. Each candy gram will cost five first class tickets. When you purchase a candy gram, it is very important that you know the flex bell teacher of the friend you are purchasing the candy gram for. You need to find that out, find that information out before you order. All candy grams will be sorted and handed out on Valentine's Day during Flex 21. All right. That is all of our announcements. Oh, we got a late breaking announcement. We'll be having indoor recess today. Indoor recess today because, baby, it's cold outside. All right. That's all for me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. That's all we have for today. Make sure to check out the daily poll on Google Classroom. Hope everyone has a fantastic week. Okay, now for the joke of the day. Two artists had an art contest. Okay. And ended in a draw. <laughs> the vibes! <laughs>